Okay, uh, this is the second in a two or three videos we're going to do on pines and how to prune them, mostly for beginners. Uh, there's as many ways to work black pines as there is guys to work them. Uh, it's kind of confusing if you've never done it before, and sometimes the articles you find are written in a way that ends up confusing because uh, all of them, almost all of them are edited from Japanese magazines, and uh, they'll go through a article and they'll change the method that they're talking about in, in the course of the article and they don't tell you that. So it's pretty hard to figure out what they're talking about. So in the previous video we talked about decandling, which is done in early part of June to the early part of July depending on your growing season. But there's another <coughs> important step that you have to do no matter who you are and that is uh, you have to do some bud selection. You can you do that right about now in the early spring, uh, as soon as the, the candles start elongating. This is a normal seedling black pine. It was attached to the tree like this, and you can see that there are three buds on the end of that branch. Um, so if, if you wanted to bonsai prune that, you can say, well, there's three buds, and all you have to know about bonsai is to count to two, right? So you want to just leave two, but what you don't necessarily see is this bud right here. I don't know if you can see that one, There may, and there's another one right here. So actually, there are five buds in this terminal. These two buds are very close to the same size. These two buds are close to the same size. But this one is the primary bud and it's too big. And you can tell it's too big because you can see these scales right here. And then all of a sudden it goes from green to brown. There will be no needles in this space to this space. So you'll, you won't, you'll have to accept a straight piece of branch that long if you use that you use that bud. So we're going to take that one out for sure. Now we have two to choose from and they're not, they're uh, medium vigor, which is kind of the ones you really want to go with unless you're doing shoheen. But in a good strong bonsai or a good strong tree, I don't like this position. See, they're, they're lined up pointing towards you. But these, one on each side of the branch, that's a perfect arrangement. So I would take that, that one and that one. So in the course of the spring, this bud and this bud now have, are going to be favored. Of course, there's no other buds and they'll, they'll lengthen out. And, uh, that's the, that's the point of bud selection that saves you from having a knot right there with four buds around there. You'll end up with what's called a wheel branch, which is kind of a, like a wagon wheel spoke and as they mature they'll swell into a knot there'll be a, 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 a knob there and you don't and it'll look ugly so you avoid that by going down to two buds and then it won't won't swell up so much plus these are parallel to the ground and nearly the same size and that's what you want then sometimes you'll face a shoot like this one this is on, off of a cork bark pine, and you can see the size of that, and it is just getting going. And there are no, uh, there are no secondary buds on this shoot. So you have two choices. You can cut that off and hope it shoots new buds, or you can deal with it in your in your design but i if you only sh most pines will bud real easily cork barks don't bud back i'd cut it off and try to force that tree to push some new buds and chances are they because it's later in the year they won't get that big there's this is a medium strength tree and you can see where it was cut last year You can see that cut right there. 
I cut and left these two buds and you can see they were pretty close to the same strength. They're still pretty close to the same size. They're also horizontal. They're side by side, not this way. You can always wire them to get them back in the position if you don't have a choice. But if you have a choice, you take two buds that are of similar strength and you've only got a place where there's no neck, no buds, is less than an inch right there. So that's okay. That's okay. And then in the course of this the summer, uh, another bud developed. You may want to take that one out. <clears throat> but right now, you go down to the end of this and you find that... I'm going to pluck these needles real quick out of there so we can see. Okay, you can see that there are four buds there. There's this pair that are up and down, including a real strong one. In some cases you may want a real strong branch, but not very often. So we'll start by taking out that one. Then you're left with three. These are side by side and parallel to the ground. That's the two you want to keep. So you went from last year from one shoot to two shoots. And this year you're going to, we're going to go from two to four in the spring and by fall we should have eight just because we're going to decandle these and the, we should get new buds on the end like you look at the decandling video by the fall you'll get two more and they'll be shorter and smaller and you'll have eight branches where two years ago you had one okay so this one looks like it has even more yeah it has a few more <coughs> so to, to pick your bud, normally you're going to want to get rid of the strongest one. The, and these, this is close to horizontal, that's what we're looking for. These are medium strength buds, these are lower strength. I knocked that. This one goes straight up, you don't want that one. And depends on how close to finished you are. I Either set of these are horizontal. So if you want a medium strength branch, or average strength branch, you might leave these two. If you're trying to get your bonsai to scale down, then you'd do these smaller ones like that. So you'll have a bud here and a here. They're slightly different. If this one starts to take over and push too long, there's another trick you can come back in a week or two and here's, here's the one we cut off. You can come back in a week or two and, and balance them by breaking the candle. Let me show you. We're just taking up the, uh, the candles just to show them, right? Yeah, it's just for demonstration. So we would take those two off and we'd take the one going up and the other one going up. These two are similar size. But what if one takes off and it you know gets way out of proportion in size, then you can come back with an the clippers are your finger and you can break it in half and that'll stop it. It'll, it'll slow it down. Um, and then with this one gets a little bit bigger, you want to break it too. That's so they're even. And these, even this spring may push new buds up in here. So you could actually, if you're fine, if it's, grow, if it's growing real well, you might uh, double up on the number of branches you get in a year. Pines are, black pines are, are, are very cooperative. They work real hard for you if you feed them and water them. In the development stages of your bonsai, you want it to be as vigorous as possible so that when you do the pruning on it, it will respond by pushing a whole bunch of buds. When you go to the hospital and you're 18 years old and you have major surgery, the doctor knows you're gonna bounce back. When you're, when you're old, and they, they, you know, they worry about you bouncing back if you're old and weak, but you want your trees uh, young and strong and uh, ready to just jump out of out with buds. And that's that's one of the keys. Don't put them in a bonsai pod and coddle them and feed them real weak fertilizer. Feed them like you want them to grow, and they'll reward you. So that's how you do it on a. Mechanically, I'll, I'll, let me show you a young tree. 
this is a four-year-old tree in my nursery and you can see the result of wheel branches from the past you see that cut right there and there are three four branches coming out of that one spot if i don't do something about that this year this is going to be a big knob right there it'll swell up real fat right here so <clears throat> i'm going to prune this real quick and then we'll do so you can see we're going to take off all the low branches and uh, let's, we're going to take, since these are headed for, to be shoheen, you don't want the really strong ones. So we're going to take that one out all together and we cut just a little bit of that stump so it doesn't get any bigger. And then you, we want to leave two. In some cases you, leave, you can leave three, but you don't really want them horizontal. See, look, when you look at that, these go out perpendicular to each other and they're in one plane. So if I run into a tree like this, I'm going to have to come along and slap some wire on that or cut it out all together. But if you slap some wire on it, you can bend it so that one becomes a branch and the other becomes an apex. This, this branch over here, we were just talking about bud printing. You can see that there's one, two, three, four buds. So this this could be a good apex. We can and we can leave three buds there because when you have an apex, you kind of like to have a spare. So we have two little ones and and a spare. Okay, and then I take a piece of pretty heavy wire and twist this around like that, and you can see now you have a branch. And a top and when you do that uh, you you want to well, well we'll get on to that in the pruning but now that I know I, I have a top I want to make sure that I, I get rid of some of the, the things down here that are not going to be part of this tree in the end to avoid having too many big scars and uh, You see how many buds are in here? That I just every one of those green circles was a bud, and there's one there and there and there. And there's one right here. That's a that's a response to this cut. When it was when we cut that tree back, it had lots of energy, so it pushed a whole bunch of buds down here. Sometimes that's really in your favor. You really want that. Other times you have to go through and constantly prune them. You can always leave one near the base a little longer, even if you don't want it for a sacrifice branch, as long as it's real low and help fatten that trunk. But we'll get back to pruning this one in the next video. So, <clears throat> there's lots and lots of ways, like I told you, to prune black pines, but you have to do two things. In June, you have to, typically in June, you have to decandle them, and we there's a whole video on that. But in the spring, in order to not waste your time and not develop big knobs where the pine wants to make wheel branches at every node, you've got to go in and, and remove buds get down to two. If you can count to two, you can do bones like one, two, you know, in a rare case, a third one, if you can't make up your mind, then you can follow up in a, in a month or two and see what you, if you want to take out another one. But, uh, each the pines are always always gonna like spoil your plans. You always want this choice. You don't always get that choice. You know, you, you never want this choice, especially if it's a limb you really want. And I'll talk, I'm gonna leave this on the table and I'll talk to you about how to deal with that choice when we do the printing video in the uh, it'll be in the printing video in the next one. So it, it's very simple. Don't let it intimidate you. Uh, you'll learn more when, at, when you watch what happens when you're pruning you, this buddy you'll learn more uh, other people can teach you more but you'd be surprised it doesn't take much more than this I mean there, there are lots of refinements you can you can use oh and we're gonna look at these trees behind me uh, this buddy too I almost forgot that so uh, about a seven-year-old tree that I grew uh, from a seedling and it's about two, maybe a year or two from being able to be show quality because it still hasn't filled in 
but from the looks of the buds this year, it looks like it might fill in real nice. Even down low, which tends to not be preferred by the tree, doesn't favor this part. You can see how many buds are down there. Lots of them. But when you, when you look at your tree, you're going to find, like right here, there's a branch, there's a bud, there's a bud, there's a bud, and there's a bud. You only want two. Remember, one, two. So, because I don't want this cascade to go any, any farther down, I'll remove that one. And I'm looking for two horizontal buds. I see one here, right here, and one right there. So we'll take out this one. And we'll take out that one. So now this branch terminates in two buds right there. I missed the, I missed. You could leave that one because it goes into that hole. But here's another terminal, and you got one. This is the this is the where it was cut last time. There's one, two, three, four, five buds in there. You want to leave the two that are horizontal. These two are near the tip, and they're the same size, roughly. Also, these two are the same size. But I want to extend my tree out a little bit, and this one's going to end up under this branch. We'll, we'll take out that one. And I like this one and this one. We'll take out this one. And there are three now. This one, this one, and this one. I make, I'll come back in a week or two. Because I, when I get one this stage, I don't like to like make every decision. I'm not, a, I'm not a master. So I'll come back in a week or two and look. And uh, one of these buds may be favored over the other and grow much more than the other one. So you just go around and you count the two. One, two, one, two. And uh, when you're doing shoheen, you don't want the average size buds. You don't want the big buds. You want to pick the small buds. You're gradually going to reduce the vigor of your tree. But as it's going down, it'll produce a lot of buds for you. And by picking the small buds, you'll end up with smaller needles and finer branches. Whereas if, you, if you're trying to build a big tree, you definitely want to leave the medium-sized buds. This tree, I, I bought steel grown and had a great big shoot in it. And it was finally getting down to something. Um, there's two on that branch. There's two on this branch. There's... There's two, there's two here, this one, this one. I, and I may need to do some wiring, you know, to put those, those buds don't come out where I want them. So this one, at some point, will rotate it around that way. This one needs to be brought down so that it's this way. This one, I'll let it grow a little bit and I'll break it and maybe I'll get two buds right there. Uh, here, you can see one, two, three, four, or more buds that this, this one shoot needs. This shoot goes straight up and I'm gonna take it out. There's a piece of leftover wire. Okay, so, and this one, this stub from last time goes up. I don't, we'll take it out. Now I've got one, two, there's a little tiny bud. No, there isn't. That's a stem. There's this one. This one. There's one there. So that's three. This one here on the side, I'm going to take that out because it doesn't, it wants to go this way. And this tree will have to be wired again and brought down. So there you have a bifurcation, at two, one branch into two, this one and this one. And you just go through the tree and you do the whole thing. One, two, one, two, one, two. If you really are confused, wait a week or two, three, and you'll see the candles will get bigger and you may, it may make it much clearer uh, what you want to do. So if you go around and do that, as soon as they lengthen out a little bit, you can see which ones are, are they're, they're pushing, they're easy to see. You can usually do it with your fingers. You can pop them out, uh, just get down to two. There's no sense in letting that bud, those buds grow for three or four months and putting all that energy into them and then uh, knocking them off anyway. You knock them off now and your tree will develop faster in the long run. 
Okay, so that's it on debutting. Uh, real simple. We'll catch you next time on the on the last of the three prime videos. Thank you.